So we are seeing the euro still holding gains after hitting that almost two-year high following Mario Draghi's press conference yesterday. Should Mario Draghi have said more about the currency, do you think? Um, no, because the central bank is not bound by uh, what happens in financial markets. And uh, I think it's a mistake that uh, investors are making, uh, thinking that uh, uh, the possible imminent announcement of uh, a tapering, a hard taper, uh, in 2018 will mean that ECB uh, then hikes interest rates. We think there's going to be a long lag between the, the last bond being purchased in net asset terms and the first rate hike. But typically, uh, investors try to price in uh, the first uh, uh, central bank rate move. They've done it with the Fed uh, throughout uh, the last couple of years, and they get the timing wrong. And I think it's going to be the same again with the ECB. Yeah, I mean, Guillaume, I get what you're saying. Of course, uh, the FX markets are not the ECB's mandate, but nonetheless, difficult for Mario Draghi uh, to ignore. I've got a chart here. I know you can't see it, but it shows the Bloomberg Euro Index back at pre-QE levels. Uh, and of course, that does have an impact on inflation, which is already a problem for the ECB. Do you see any concern at all um, from what you're looking at in terms of a tightening of financial conditions? So when we look at financial conditions, we, we do the, the average in the second quarter, uh, which in our models is about a standard deviation above long-term average, which is very good. It's the highest since 2011, uh, uh, certainly. And when we look at what's happened in July, we've lost uh, two decimal points, uh, roughly. So we're still at a level that says, you know, growth is going to be in the vicinity of 2 to 2.5% annualized, which is uh, comfortably above uh, the ECB's uh, potential growth, which is twice as fast as potential growth. So what you see in the euro now is probably and the trade weighted more than euro dollar because euro dollar is just a, a pair between US and Europe. What we uh, monitor is the trade weighted and the trade weighted is up 3%, 4%, 5% depending on which reference period you take. But it should maybe shave off 0.1 of the 2018 and 0.1 of the 2019 inflation midpoints. So when the ECB comes to the September meeting, they'll have inflation ballpark the same as it was in June because by then uh, growth would have been revised up and I think that it leaves the ECB in a difficult position. They cannot tell you that QE is ending. They have to announce that QE is extending, but they can't know exactly yet how to announce uh, what the uh, modalities of this QE program are. Mm. So we are left in this situation where things are good in terms of growth, things that are a bit disappointing for inflation, but surely inflation is coming through because the output gap is closing.